Welcome to level three, level two, amateur ride the pattern. Just so there's no confusion, the level one amateur ride the <coughs> pattern will be posted online at the AQHA website, Facebook, in several places. If you have any questions, you can ask Tim, myself, or at the show office. So let's get started. Before we get started with the trail ride, the pattern, I always like to talk about uh, the professional horsemen in the crisis fund. The crisis fund was designed to help professional horsemen that had an incident that causes them to have financial um, problems. And just keep in mind that your horse trainers are out there late at night, getting up early in the morning, away from home, away from their families, away from their children, to prepare your horses and make sure you're ready to show at the World Show or every horse show that you go to throughout the year. This is a great opportunity to give back to a great fund that could really help the professional horsemen. At, during the Ride the Pattern, we will walk around with buckets for you to make a donation. It could be small or large. And there's a QR code on a sign, and you can use that with your phone. All donations will greatly be appreciated. So before we get started, I'd like first to thank Tim Camara and his niece, his new assistant. What's her name? <laughs> Kylie. Welcome, Kylie. She came from Hawaii. She's a little chilly this morning, Daddy. I told her she better invest in some winter clothes. She's not going back for a little while. But I just want to thank Tim, all of you that watched the select amateur uh, finals yesterday. He did a fantastic job. It was a great course. And, you know, he just really thinks of so, so many creative ideas to keep us on our feet. And we appreciate Tim. Let's give him a round of applause. Because <laughs> I forgot my job. So today, we have Tori Roderick from New Hampshire. <laughs> She, she moves around a little bit, but she's from my area, my dear friend. She's a professional horseman. She is a fantastic all-around trainer, really focuses on trail. And she has um, another professional horseman, Jesper Ganzel, who did uh, the select ride, the pattern. He's on his phone. Also a fantastic trail horse trainer. <laughs> and um, he did a great job for us the other night. So I'm going to turn the mic over to Tori. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you. Did you turn it off? No. OK. Speak up. Baby. OK. Can you guys hear me? No. Not yeah, at all. You did turn it off. <laughs> Thanks. Hello. OK. Speak up. Put it in. How about now? Better? Uh, <laughs> More? Yeah, OK. Okay, uh, thanks for the microphone, Gino, number one. Um, Tim has some points. So today, Saturday, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., this is going to be set up. Um, this is the amateur, also the junior. 2 o'clock, 2 to 6 p.m., um, this is going to be turned back over to the level one green, level one amateur. Louder. Okay. Okay, louder. So 2 to 6 p.m., this is going to be turned back into the level one with decorations. Uh, 6 to 4, 6 to 4.30 a.m., the decorations will be gone and the poles will remain out here. Uh, there's one walk both days, 6.30 to 7.15 is your walk. Sunday, the level one amateur has 64 entries. There's going to be a rake after draw 32. Okay, questions so far? Okay, I think Tim's going to walk and I'm going to explain where he's going. If we have questions along the way, just stop us. Okay, our first obstacle, ready when you are. Trotting in. Two strides across the black and whites. Continue trotting. Your single stride trots. 
one, one, trotting into the chute. All the way up. Your stirrup should be even with the center of that pole. <laughs> okay. Backing up. So it's important that you show your back up. He wants to see a U around the pole. Uh, that's why you need to get far enough back in that chute before you swing the front end. You have to show one or two steps of back up before you swing. Side passing to the right. As long as you go past the cone, you have to side pass past that cone. Walking out. Okay, picking up your right lead lope. It's really a good mover. Three strides in every quarter, preferred. He's going to lope the first pull twice. Coming off the lopes, breaking to the trot. There's not a stride rule here, but four steps would be preferred in these trots. Okay, picking up the left lead lope. Same thing, you're hitting that first arm of the wheel twice. Three in each quarter. Killing it, Tim, looks great. Okay, three strides. Coming off of your wheel, breaking to the trot. These pulls, there is a stride rule here. This has to be four strides, four steps. Pull the pole. He's got short legs. <laughs> okay, loping, left lead, diagonal line. Find your line between the poles, where your six foot gaps are. Loping a circle, continuing on the left lead, back across your diagonals. Coming off your diagonal lobes, breaking to the jog. In this serpentine, you can do two or three. There's no rule. Coming around, same thing, two or three, no rule. I like symmetry, that doesn't mean it has to be that way. Okay, breaking to the walk, not stopping. Walking to the box, trying to avoid a break of gait. You can walk in and spin either direction. And then walking out, your walkovers are two, one, two, one. Stride rule applies to your two, two stride walkovers. That's it, that's all she wrote. Questions? Okay, Jess, you ready? He's gonna, Jess is gonna ride the pattern. Let's see if Ike's a better mover than Tim. Two strides in. He's got his stirrup even with the, with the center of the pole and plenty far enough. Backing the U. And you have to show, Tim's instructing the judges, a step or two of the backup before you swing around and get into position to side pass. After you finish the side pass, walking off your poles, he got past the cone. Left lead lope. Three strides.
braking to the trot. Again, not a stride rule, but four steps would be preferred. Pick, picking up your left lead lope. Good news is you guys should have more room than this. It's a little tight out here. Around in three, four steps across here. Again, it is a stride rule. Left lead diagonal lopes. super tight here. Breaking to the trot for the serpentine. Two or three steps is okay. And then the break to the walk. And then walking into the box. Spinning either way. And then walking out. Two, one, two, one. Good job. A plus. Okay, you guys have questions? That's about it. Thank you.